Hello, you're watching the expat.dy videocast. I'm Vladimir and today with me Serge again. Serge again and uh, today uh, he's a real expert in uh, food, restaurants and so he here we are sitting at the real restaurant and we're talking about restaurants and about public catering, about diners, etc. So the first question uh, what about uh, public uh, food service in Minsk? Uh, do we have some decent places where you can eat not very expensive and expensive and other places? So dangerous or not dangerous? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. How, how safe to eat in Minsk, actually? So, first of all, just um, we got to just observe um, a general idea. What does it mean just uh, public uh, places just for eating just and uh, traditions and what we have today is just after uh, when so it didn't die it. Uh, in my opinion uh, <clears throat> in my opinion I think just the history of restaurants culture in Belarus um, is about maybe a third uh, 300 years and but mostly uh, it was uh, Lithuanian, Lithuanian coals and Lithuanian kitchens. So, and after 1917, just after <laughs> Red Revolution, and after uh, Russian uh, Empire, just we have uh, not really how we can say just not really modern coals and modern just kitchen here in Belarus. But today. Uh, I suppose after 20 years, after 1991, uh, we have really new uh, trends here in Belarus, new trends in the restaurants business. So that's why just I, I'm gonna just tell you about um, just let's share, let's share, and let's divide it this problem just for three uh, for three subjects. This is restaurants for. Uh, very uh, restaurants are which are really very expensive and uh, fashionable restaurants. Let's talk about three price categories. So yeah, to say yeah, actually yeah. they are being divided officially in three price categories. In yeah. past they used to be. So I remember just uh, 20 years ago when uh, we started to develop our culture. I mean the restaurants culture. It was really dangerous to eat in our restaurants because uh, people and chefs they didn't know what just we uh, have to do just for customers what we have just to prepare and uh, about fresh food about they they didn't know anything about this so after maybe 2000s after 2000s just uh, we got uh, for about 20 restaurants in the Minsk who could understand who could really to build restaurants for people, for foreign people, with a normal kitchen, with a normal house, and with uh, fresh food and with good service. It's like we can say, just really, uh, we've made uh, service industry. And uh, today, uh, I suppose more than 50 or 55 restaurants in our city we could find, we can find just really uh, with good service and good uh, food. The problem is sometimes foreign people uh, are trying to ask me, Serge, just say me, what about seafood? What about so? Mm -hmm. Just is it possible to get some really seafood? Uh, just uh, I'm telling, it's a really hard in our city to get really fresh seafood because, uh, as we know, uh, there is no sea close to sure. us. First of all, and. Uh, all fresh, uh, all fresh uh, seafood we can get just only by flights. So sometimes it's dangerous. First of so all, so it is. It, it won't be frozen. So frozen uh, is not good. Yeah, for frozen is not good. But uh, at the same time, some people, some owners of new restaurants, of new modern restaurants, are trying to bring really seafood, really so fish. So they're bringing. Uh, f uh, so there is fresh. Seafood. Yeah, they are bringing. They are bringing, for example, yeah, uh, uh, fresh uh, fish yeah. from Norway, 
and uh, a bit from Poland. I don't so know what is it. Yes, yeah, might so. be golden food. So it is. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, it's very expensive. Sometimes people ask me, "Surf why it's so expensive?" Just I took just salmon. It was fresh salmon, but I've paid for about fifty dollars just for one for one dish. Yes. So, yeah, it's possible. So for real a seafood, what would be the price? I mean, because they could be frozen, it will be cheaper. But I mean, uh, uh, if you are asking about just fish and uh, if it's prepared from uh, frozen uh, uh, frozen fish, it's not more than just for one portion. You'll pay just for about ten or maybe uh, seven to ten dollars. It's not too much just for fish for one portion. Fresh. Yeah, that's not fresh. It's just uh, for fro from not frozen. Fresh. Ah, it's so not this fresh. is frozen. Uh, so yeah. if you, you you pay such well low price, it is you, you can be sure it is. But yeah. Is it safe? I mean, uh, you can eat. Yeah, it? certainly safe because now owners just have bought a lot of good equipment, especially just for preparing such food. First of all, and now. I suppose that it's real. My opinion. I got a lot of friends. I mean, chiefs in our city, and they're really get uh, getting professional, and they got good profession right now, and uh, um, they were working a lot of time uh, in um, a lot of time in Italy, in England, France, somewhere else. So today, just uh, I can say it's safely you can get good so food in the center of city. Correct. Okay. In the center of city, correct. For example, like all right, uh, uh, if, if it's downtown or upper town, just its new name we call just in our city, just a good special place just for foreigners and for travelers. This is upper town, like we are just uh, located here. It's the same this cafe located is the same uh, place, and uh, it's good, fresh, and safely. So just frozen. Yeah, it's a frozen. And this average price for uh, middle restaurants, I mean, average restaurants for uh, middle price just uh, for about $20, $25 per one just portion without drinks, without uh, wine, without alcohol. Okay, say mm -hmm. 20, 25 dollars. How so, how big plates are? Are they? Ah, uh, it's not like Europe. Just it's unusual for European people, for American people. It was smaller. Uh, it's smaller, and uh, in my opinion, it's not uh, it's not really modern and fashionable like so uh, not, in not Europe. So what will arrange? Everything is there. Yeah. Just, but uh, so but you can eat. And you can you, eat. It's not too bad. You can it's drink, and you terrible. can drink. Yes. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, for example, just I've been working in Ireland uh, for a worker company, and I can tell you the price of wine. For example, if you're buying a bottle of Sunrise, all right, uh, this is Australian wine, just nine euros per one bottle. In the restaurant, you'll get it just for 20 euros. Here? No, it's for example in Ireland. Okay. But here in Minsk, uh, you will see, for example, the same is the same wine uh, for nine euros in Australia or in Europe. Just you will pay here for about 40, 35 euros. So the price more and more. I don't know why, but it's tradition in our country. It's in Moscow as well, I know. So in Moscow as well. Yeah, that's 300 percent maybe more, they tax them, or maybe 400 percent more maybe than the border taxes, uh, custom taxes, whatever. Certainly, uh, it depends on customs taxes and uh, really huge taxes here. Just I mean, from government as well. So that's why. And so, so those who want cheap wine, they can buy local booze. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, it's really expensive rent for restaurants uh, because for. Per the price is for per one meter square meter, but for about right here in this place for about 35, 30, 40 euros per one square meter. It's very expensive, extremely, yeah. extremely expensive. So they, uh, the the restaurant charges. I mean, yeah. Uh, so if you buy, I mean, uh, if you buy a bottle somewhere in the, in the shop, it will be cheaper. Ah. Uh, it's a bit okay, more. so this is we're talking three hundred times cheaper. Well, that's yes. Uh, we're talking about restaurants, and uh, it has been since Soviet times when the restaurant food, especially booze, is would be even just the soft drinks. They are yeah, yeah. much more expensive, like three, four times. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it just. Uh, 
They call it uh, restaurant charge or whatever something. Yeah, like I don't know. I don't know why, but it's yes, tradition. Yes, really, that we used to use such situations. Sure. Of that so we're just explaining that people would know that if they see uh, different prices in uh, somewhere. Well, the same I found in Europe as well. If you uh, not, everywhere, not everywhere, but only just in the special places for business customers for. Uh, business special uh, agency somewhere else, you know, just for people who, who, who is working, for example, in the downtown, in the business centers, but not everywhere. Well, in my experience, uh, I had such place, like in Prague, I was, you know, the just uh, regular juice was like three times more at the cafe or something like that. I mean, like a restaurant. So, of course, if you go to the diner, which is now where uh, we will talk about diners later, about uh, fast food, but so uh, about really fresh, we mean fresh, f fresh seafood out of the sea. So what would be the price? Uh, I suppose uh, just I will try to remember it's about for a, per one person it's going to be 40 it's about 45, 45 euros per one just mm -hmm. dish. So we have 45 euros for just fresh. caught fresh, I mean yeah. brought by airplane. Yeah, will be right. 45 euros versus uh, 7... 710, 710. For fish, seven to ten, uh, yeah. but, but the general dish would be 25, you see, Yeah, no? yeah, okay. about 25. Okay, so just uh, several just times we have, more. Just, uh, we are talking about just normal restaurants, mm -hmm. uh, democracy restaurants, just with democracy policy. And uh, we, we will just, if we uh, uh, talk about uh, fashionable restaurants, it's another price. It's correct. Premium. Huge difference yes. between fashionable, for example, like restaurant in the Minsk, uh, Falcone, uh, unbelievable prices, unbelievable. The owners are really trying uh, to bring to this restaurant just especially only rich people. That's sure. it. That's why they have uh, red toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I don't know how now, but I remember I was and impressed. It, and this paper just has a special scent, really scent, yeah, not probably. smell. <laughs> sure. Yeah. sure, everything is fashionable, yes. Those places are for what called elite or just premium places. Yeah, they, people know what they pay for. So, um, at the same time, I've got to tell you about, for example, clubs. This is another story. It's very interesting for uh, foreign people, for foreign customers, because there are for about 10 or 12 good clubs just so in So, what is the difference between club and uh, uh, it's in other prices, in other prices, and um, really, you know, just it's like uh, for me, it's like a zoo because uh, I cannot recognize our Belarusian people in the night in the clubs because uh, half of, for example, girls, half of girls which we which you'll find in the club in the night. Uh, they are trying to find some rich guys, you know, okay. there's like uh, sharks, you know, they are trying <laughs> to move around just, and you'll see such people. They're sort of uh, prostitutes or...? I don't know about uh, this, really. I, I didn't ask them about hunting, it. Just hunting, just hunting for... Just hunting to find people with guys. money, that's okay. it. And I suppose just uh, uh, people, foreign people, there's... Uh, uh, they took a lot of real girls and uh, brought them in Europe and America, so I know sure about they this. this. Yeah, they, so they're really nice and, so, and, uh, uh, and they have really prized because if I have no money, just uh, she will not ask you about something, she will not talk with you. To, to but you. clubs also, they have dancing girls or Dancing something? girls and uh, especially girls. Go-go well, girls? Or yeah, or yes, just, you're right. Uh -huh. and, but it's really expensive. It's more expensive than in Europe. It's just they my have live opinion. music there or so, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay, so club is uh, more... And it's very expensive food in this place. So it's even well. more expensive than what we talk about elite restaurants. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Clubs, so this is really elite restaurants as well. But they work uh, usually during the night. Yeah, okay. only at night. So this is not place for family? So no, I suppose <laughs> no. It's uh, dangerous <laughs> to bring 
kids or for your bachelors. wife or your wife just so it's for real men and for bachelors maybe. yeah yeah you're okay. right and for strangers okay. okay sometimes for strangers but at the same time my advice to these people who is going to visit uh, our clubs uh, be really careful mm -hmm. and don't drink too much because you gotta have really control under yourself because um, I know such stories there are some people who is trying just to talk with foreign people and to be very polite and to show you some new perspective in these clubs but it's really dangerous be careful mm. be careful about this they can take you to some i don't know Som place sometimes or? sometimes yeah it's dangerous for your wallet but sometimes it's dangerous well i mean if you leave the restaurant if the restaurant you're safe yeah the rest so of you are really safe. If you are not sure about, if you are not uh, going to club, to clubs, yeah, it's you well, gotta I be mean, very. if you are afraid to go alone, so you just call taxi and that's it. No problem. So they will, the personnel will assist you to go if yeah, you, yeah. somebody the personnel will assist you to to walk, etc. Yeah. So they will help you. You are right. So just be careful with those other girls and other with strangers girls who can and, talk. and strangers who is going to yes. talk to you. With. Well, that's maybe common everywhere. Yeah, so I suppose, but in Minsk, it's correct. Yeah. So what else? Um, just, uh, I suppose I got to tell you about fast food. Fast food is not really well developed in Minsk. Just only McDonald's you can find. Yeah, just like if you see somebody like uh, list me a fast food restaurant the McDonald's McDonald's and again McDonald's McDon again McDonald's there yeah. are some local places <laughs> but uh, they can't uh, I think they won't be in any comparison with McDonald's I mean, yeah certainly it's perfect McDonald's it's perfect really perfect we, and everyone just love here remember we've been visiting the Chinese food restaurant uh, it's not really good right now and okay. not good quality and not good okay. quality okay it's I I've been there one time and uh, they are dying I see they are okay. dying so okay. it's not really good quality of food and uh, it's really hard to find uh, good stuff just for preparing this okay. food it's because that time I was impressed they had uh, but nice today, yeah. Chinese and everything was oh, they just opened maybe. So, uh, talking about fast food, uh, to conclude it, um, so the really nice place that would be good is just, uh, I mean, nice and safe is McDonald's. Yeah, certainly. There are some pizzeria, you know, there. Uh, we have some pizzerias, but um, Italian people said about this, uh, it's not pizzerias. Okay, so the, the real, those who used to a real those who want to have the same food as there they have to go to the mcdonald's but yeah. there is opinion like uh, i met some americans they say well they have mcdonald's there as well we want to try something local so what about our national cuisine it's strange for our country but i know just only in our country three really belarusian restaurants just only three with real belarusian uh, yes. cuisine and uh, yeah so. it's not popular for our people and i just very surprised me but it's not popular for us so they people. make real belarusian food yeah because uh, our customers local customers love just only fashionable food fresh available restaurants special atmosphere and modern that's it so and we are losing really our culture here just only three restaurants for in one city so they serve in a real uh, belarusian uh, environment yeah uh, environment and really food and traditions for about 200 belarusians and so there uh, is food uh, like prepared like uh, used to peasants do or other traditions uh, yeah. for example like in cities but yeah anyway but it's not popular in our country mm -hmm. i don't know why i don't know really why but i can guess about this because uh for these for these 20 years of developing uh, our restaurants here in minsk people just love to get only just modern restaurants uh, who can get just who can just copy of uh, England restaurants, mm -hmm. British restaurants, Italian restaurants, Belgium restaurants. 
but it's not popular our Belarusian. So those Belarusian restaurants, are they like popular? I mean, uh, they are free or not uh, populated? I mean, not everyone many can customers? Get, everyone can get such food in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in his own house. Um, and for those who uh, like national booze, like they, it's called Samagon, you know, mm, it's like yeah. moonshine, it's uh, what is called... Uh, interesting, like, it's interesting alcohol. So drink, do they yeah. have uh, that home-brewed moonshine in those restaurants? You can find, but not here, just it's uh, not in the Minsk, I suppose. It's outside uh, the city. It's a special city, place. Yeah. There they have real moonshine. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, it's, it's real. Called, like we, my, we call this my, place the Dudki, like, I don't know. That. Yes, like my grandmother used to make it. It's made from rye. Uh, uh, bread made from rye and I maybe think sugar or something yet. Yeah. Uh, sugar is added, but uh, it's really made from rye, which is and you just smell oh it. Oh my god, it yeah, it's like, like bread. Like bread. You yes. can take just, yes. just to put it into your hands, and after that, just and, you can uh, feel it really. Yeah, bread. it's just real. I mean, they also serve national food there. They have yeah, uh, kind of. Uh, a log cabin or whatever, you know, just like yeah. a peasant's house and they just serve real peasant's food there. Yeah, so right. here uh, you have national food, but no moonshine. Yeah, no moonshine. It's because uh, regulations. Uh, this is law. Mm -hmm. This law. Just only I know two people to business people who can produce such a special license. Drink. Yeah, special license. So you can find uh, here at the restaurants you can find uh, real national food, but no national drinks. No, it's impossible. Well, it will, it will be called national drink, but made again from rectified uh, People can just understand. alcohol, yeah. which is not like distilled, which is yeah. diff the great difference. Yeah. For those who know, they know it, because like uh, a difference between whiskey and vodka. So just, uh, just I knew one Canadian guy, Just he asked me, just can you just find such real alcohol drink for me just and I bought it just one liter in a special place brought him he was really surprised he said unbelievable sure. good I mean, taste. that place ah, it's close to Pisco you know Pisco no this is uh, from uh, I, I suppose this drink is from Peru mm -hmm. uh, it's close to just the taste like you know it's Pisco now a uh, very important question people ask when they go to other countries, how people pay there, how they behave there, do they tip? Uh, so, what is the good would be good advice for those who watch us who, who come from abroad when they go to the restaurant? They speak barely Russian, so mm. they can communicate there. Yeah, yeah, they can communicate in the center city. There's a good, fashionable restaurants and uh, reliable restaurants. Uh, you can find staff who can speak English, who can speak in German or Spanish, Italian. So it's very popular. Just to so, do, how to find to take out? such staff uh, and to give them jobs? Just to, uh, so that's why you can find just people who can talk to you, just and to uh, explain you uh, everything just about the restaurants, about the food. Okay, so uh, when you go to the restaurant, you sit there, so uh, they have to prepare cash or they can ah, wherever, wherever you want, uh, everywhere you can find just terminals, you can find just uh, special keeping just for uh, paying by card and you can pay by cash, but it's more comfortable, I can say, just pay, to pay by cash. Mm -hmm. Uh, because if you're really glad, if you if you got good service and good food, if you want just to give uh, some you know, tips, tips uh, yeah. it's yeah, and you will feel you you will feel some conf you are confused, you know, because you cannot give just uh, tips by card. It's impossible in our okay. country. In but America, you can in America you can just pay tips by card, it's no problem. Uh, here you just have to add, uh, well, there is option here, you can put card and uh, because the... Uh, and after that just you can put just put money, uh, put yes. money yes. yes. I mean uh, you have to have money for tips yeah. at least, so this yeah. is important because, uh, so what would be the amount of uh, uh, percentage? Uh, five to ten, mm -hmm. but if you like... Of course the, you can pay more. I will try to keep just... Uh, if you like this girl, just you can pay just wherever you want. So. Sure, sure, of course. 
So well, the service is five. Five to ten. Mm -hmm. All right. If if you like this food, if you like uh, this service, but if you don't like, just don't pay. It's my advice. Never pay. So nobody would tell you nothing. No, they nobody. They will just nobody. give you exactly or no, uh, no, no. Not, it's not actually, American. Actually, if you don't uh, like to deal with uh, with this, uh, you know, how to calculate this money, so card will be fine. It is safe in, in every Certainly. restaurant. If you see, it is written like Visa, Mastercard, yep, you'll see whatever everywhere. is there, so you can safely pay because Belarus, in comparison with uh, like some. Russian cities, it's everything oh. is fine, and here is very, very strict yeah. bank uh, system and uh, very strict uh, financial control. So right. About this, you can be sure yeah, that nobody right. will uh, copy your card. With, with just uh, yeah. in this country, this is and very everywhere very and everywhere you will get a bill. Just yes. you can just keep this bill just for your, for example, just for your yes. bookkeeper or someone. No problems someone, here. Yeah. Yes, if you want to uh, to write something about you know bill, usually they print it. It's, yeah. uh, it's very safe and well sometimes uh, sometimes foreigners ask me uh search for example i need a bill just i've lost my bills so just i need just I, i'm gonna go home very soon just i need some bills just uh, it's no problem you can ask uh some waiter or some barman just can you give me just a couple of bills that you'll get I just give them just one dollar that's enough um, very important question uh, about smoking and non-smoking areas yes yeah, so you know, this is not really just correct law in our country, smoking areas, no smoking areas. Some restaurants, some owners of other restaurants just don't really like, they, they don't really like just uh, when people are smoking at the restaurant. So sometimes just you will ask, is, is uh, some uh, smoking area here? You can find uh, really areas with for smoking area and no smoking area. But uh, there is no smoking area. I mean, sm no smoking restaurants in Minsk. Yeah, you can find some such restaurants. How you can find? Just written somewhere or? Yeah, just ask people. Every time you gotta ask mm -hmm. staff, is it smoking restaurants or not smoking? This. And you can smell it. Uh, you can feel it. Yes, yes, certainly. Of course, if you enter the place, you can feel there is. Uh, no, this odor of <laughs> yeah. tobacco. Um, let's talk about prices. If you go to the restaurant alone, if you go to the restaurant with a woman or with a girl, and this the case. Uh, with a family, or as for business uh, negotiation or what it's called, All business right. lunch. It's simple. It, it's really very simple. If you're gonna just alone, and uh, you need just to get very fast food, you know, so just about seven dollars. You need just seven dollars. So that's enough. Seven dollars. That's enough. Average restaurant. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. If you're gonna just in the, for example, reliable, good restaurant in the center city, and you're gonna alone, you gotta have just twenty, twenty-five dollars, without alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're gonna just uh, with girlfriend, with business partner, in the evening time, in the center city, in the good restaurant. Per one person, you gotta have for about 50, 55, 60 dollars per one person. Do you have to call ahead to the restaurant, order a table or whatever? Or Sometimes, yeah, you gotta just, there are about 15, 20 restaurants in the center city. There are always just crowd and uh, you gotta call before you, you're going just and just to book some you know special place for you so if you uh, like uh, just at a random you didn't book a table there or something so you just you can wait it. for you can wait for outside for example 20 25 30 minutes or just try to walk around or just run around just find some restaurants again yes. just one question more i suppose it's very important for people about uh meat uh, what you can get in our restaurants, I mean, what, what quality of oh, meat. Oh, really? We, yes. Yeah, it's beef, lamb, chicken, and we talked before about fish, okay? We will yes, not consider beef. Uh, do they make a real beef uh, steaks here? Uh, at the moment, this time, just you can find in, uh, good, in the good restaurants really beef from, for example, Portugal, Australia, or Paul Anton's. Here they don't have uh, and you can cattle find, for beef. Yeah, here. yeah, but uh, it, it's going to be really beef, you know, it's going to be really beef. And uh, 
you can find a good steak and something like that, but it's not everywhere. And uh, f first of all, you gotta ask some people who've been in there in this restaurant, is it good or not for you? Because it's really very hard to find a real beef. It is safe. Because Belarusian beef just only for milk, not for eating. Yes. Though, this way, you know. Yes. Uh, so uh, it, we just have to say that. It is safe as food, but it is not as but, tasty. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not white, it's very slim though, yes. and uh, not really good The taste. same is with pork, just pork here. Uh, it's more simple for pork, just you can get good pork, but it's not such pork like you can, for example, buy in Germany, I know. But at the same time, just trying to ask, uh, more trying, to, trying to ask, just wait, as, uh, just tell me about uh, really size of your meat, just ask about wide or not, try to ask about is smooth or not, something like that, you know, just it's very important, I suppose. But it's not dangerous, but it's big difference about quality and taste, for example, for comparing with Europe or America, so that's why. Uh, about lamp, mm, you know, it's very popular. Uh, lamp is very popular in England and Ireland. Uh, everywhere, Belgium, everywhere. But in our country, it's getting popular, but uh, I suppose it's really hard to find good chief who will make for you a good lamp. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. It's not standard of quality of culture, so that's why you will get real risk, just you will get good food or not. I mean, just tasty or not tasty. Yes. So this is the only difference. Chicken, all right. Chicken like everywhere. Chicken is chicken. Mm. That's okay. And they can cook it well. Uh, it's very cheap and it's mm. not bad, just quality. Anyone buys more about drinks, if it's possible about drinks. Uh, if uh, you are going to get uh, and find really just Russian culture and um, Belarusian culture concerning drinks, so just don't be afraid and take always vodka. Good quality of Belarusian vodka and it's not expensive. But if you used to drink just uh, uh, whiskey, uh, rum, tequila or another drinks just uh, from another country, it's very expensive for yes. in our country, very expensive. For example, for one, per one shot of whiskey, you will pay about $10. Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose it's expensive. You can get a bottle of vodka for that. Yeah, yeah, certainly. And what about uh, beer restaurants? Uh, there are a lot of beer restaurants. It's very popular in our country. You can find good uh, sorts of beer, Europeans. Guinness? Guinness you can find, but not everywhere. Just I suppose just only two or three restaurants in the means. But they bring Guinness there? Uh, yeah, the yeah, by flight, yeah. Yes. And, uh, there are a couple of restaurants you can find in there. Uh, Belgian beer, really Belgian, Palm, something like that. And uh, very popular uh, beer from Czech Republic, and you can find a lot of sorts of Czech Republic beer here. And uh, Polish, Polish beer, Lithuanian beer, Russian beer, certainly. Belarusian beer, I suppose you can find good. Belarusian beer is everywhere, I think. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's, I think it's, Unfortunately. it's <laughs> by it's by the law. You have they have to have uh, no yeah. matter what other brands they have. But you gotta have this beer. You well, have to yeah. Russian beer. Yeah, yes. you got it. You got uh, it. Even that Irish pub where they serve. Uh, for example, just I'll okay, okay. Uh, I'll call you. I'll call you. Just this is uh, uh, malt and hops. It's very good Irish pub in the. Upper town in Minsk. So this is Irish pub. Yeah, right, right okay. here. Really nice, perfect atmosphere, perfect design, unbelievable good service, beautiful food, and uh, unbelievable service of drinks. Very nice. I love it, and all uh, people in Minsk love this uh, restaurant. And the foreign people who know just every time just come in this restaurant as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're finished with these uh, topics. Maybe 
Maybe we'll continue it later. Uh, I suppose, just I talked uh, one hour before with uh, one owner of this restaurant, Molten Hopes, and he said it's possible to make a report from, the, from his restaurant. I suppose next week we'll make it. We'll try to update you about other aspects of uh, food and restaurant life here in Belarus. So and uh, we'll try just to open new details. Yeah, we'll, we'll update you because just watch our programs and uh, you'll see. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you very much.